Now, the important topic here is how to give a parent-child relationship. So, how you will be knowing it when you see the data model at the back end, you will see which column is the primary key, which column is the secondary, I mean foreign key, which has got relation, parent-child relations. Now, edit the brand attribute. Brand is a topmost level, then it, no, it will not have any parents. Click on the child button. Okay, add. Click add. Item. Brand is directly related to item here. Click OK. Save and close it. Now, go to category. Category is also parallelly a highest level part where it has got children of subcategory. Click add and select the subcategory. Click OK. Save and close it. Open the subcategory attribute. Just want to make sure whether the category is added or not. Click on the parent tab. It's added, right? Go to child. So, for subcategory, item is a children, add it, add, click on the add button. So, what do you see here, item has got two parents, add the item, add the item. So, click OK, item has got two parents, one is a brand directly, the other one is a category, ok. Now, see you can ask me, why are we doing this parent-child relationship? To create a hierarchies, you need to have a parent-child relationship. If you don't have parent-child relationship, you cannot create hierarchies. Does that make sense? Okay. okay. Now, what do you need to do, Abhishek, now? Look into item. No, it's not required. Click on the item. Edit, edit the item. Double click on that. Go to parents, item is the least level, right? Yes. You see the two parents are there? Yes. Cancel this. Now, what you need to do? Oh, this one. Okay. That's good. So, you are supposed to update a schema to reflect the back end and front end part. Okay? Okay. okay. Now, I want you people to create are remaining attributes in the same fashion. So, please do create the attributes in the same fashion so that, you know, we can we can start looking at a compound attribute heterogeneous mapping tomorrow. Okay? 